Video lights under 150 bucks are crap. Hi divers, welcome back. Today I'd like to unbox a really affordable video light, the Trustfire DF50. I got this underwater video light from Trustfire. But now I only knew the company to be a producer of rechargeable batteries. I used some of the batteries with other video lights, but then they approached me and sent me this light to test it out. I got the light for free, but as always, I don't get any money for this video or to say anything positive about it. However, since I normally refuse to test crappy stuff anyway, from the fact alone that I make a video about this light, you might tell I like it. The Trustfire DF50 is an underwater video light designed for both professional and recreational use. It's waterproof up to 70 meters according to the user manual and boasts 6500 lumens of brightness. I cannot measure it as usual because of the wide beam angle of a video light. However, to give you a little bit of reference what 6500 lumens is compared to other lights, if you go, for instance, for a big blue VL9000, you get 9000 lumens, or some of big blue's lights go up to 11,000 lumens. So the truss fire is not as bright. However, big blue lights cost often over 700 bucks, and the cheaper versions are not so bright, while the DF50 comes at only 110 euro on Amazon, and quite frankly, 6,500 is still a lot. So without further ado, let's see what's inside the box. So first we have the Trustfire DF50 light itself. As you can see, it's made from a durable aluminum alloy and it's both strong and lightweight, weighing in at around 295 grams. Inside the box, we also have a USB-C charging cable, wrist strap, which you normally never use anyway, and some spare O-rings and a little bit of silicon grease and the manual, let me get it out. Yeah, the manual in many different languages, German, Chinese, English, and of course you get a ball hat to attach it to your camera. So you can just screw the ball hat in. Yeah, now you can just attach it to your camera rig. The battery itself has a capacity of uh, 55 watt hours. Trustfire claims a burn time of 205 minutes in high mode and up to 6.8 hours in low mode, which is more than enough for multiple dives or an extended underwater video shoot. On the box, they mention, yeah, here it is. On the box, they mention 12 hours of burn time, but that's only in the violet or red light mode. The DF50, I can show you. Let me just quickly insert the battery. I really know why they put the silicon grease to the package. So the DF50 has four operation modes. So I can first turn it on and you have the low uh, mode. Yeah, then you have a violet mode. It's UV light mode, the red mode. And then you get the <laughs> really bright high mode. Let me turn it off. Yeah, so yeah, it has these four modes, bright, dimmed, red, and UV LEDs. And these modes consume different amounts of the energy and uh, the, the violet and the red consumes less energy. So this is how they come to 12 hours of burn time. But in reality, you get only up to 6.8 with the white LEDs. Still, this means you can adjust the light to your specific needs whether it's for video recording, photography, or maybe just a simple night dive where you can easily go with the dimmed mode. A small downside of this light might be that you can't use ordinary alkaline batteries with this light. Sure, the lithium battery has more energy density, but I know from traveling with dive gear nowadays that you have multiple lithium batteries with you, and depending on the airline, they might only allow a limited number of lithium batteries. 
So when I go, uh, go on the dive trip, I usually have multiple lithium batteries for drones, for cameras, for uh, maybe backup lights. Normally I use alkaline batteries with the backup lights, but many people use uh, lithium uh, batteries for, for the backup lights. The problem is that it might be that airlines don't let you in with so many uh, high capacity batteries depends on the airline and it would be nice to have the option to go for alkaline batteries. Still, this light does not have this option, unfortunately. Before we go on with the review and if you took already some value out of this video, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It'll really help me a lot producing more of this content. Back to the DF-50. My initial impressions of the Trustfire DF-50 are very, very positive. It feels solid very well built and the various modes are a great feature. So let's bring it into the water to see how it performs there. I just did a quick dive with it yesterday, taking some videos and pictures. The visibility was not too great yesterday and you always have problems with silting and especially inside the rags and containers with percolation. Still, I was impressed by what a light for slightly above 100 euro can do. I just used one light on my camera rig since I only got one light from Trustfire, but still, even with just one light, I was able to brighten up the scene anyway. The videos look good, at least in terms of lighting, and the pictures are still very decent. The handling is very user-friendly, the push button is easy to press, but you can't push it accidentally. Still, the light features a lock function, which comes in very, very handy when you transport it let's say in a box close to your dry suit and you don't want to burn a hole into it by accidentally turning the light off. So what can I say about the Trustfire DF50? Many people say video lights for 150 bucks are crap, but the Trustfire DF50 proves them wrong. It's simple, yeah, it comes with just the accessories you need, but it looks and feels durable. Time will tell if that's true. Still, it's not the brightest light on the market, but it's absolutely bright enough to be able to get some nice footage on the water. Don't forget that for one big blue light, you might get five to eight of these. So in the end, I can say that I was very impressed by the first look. Would I buy it? Honestly, yes. I already did because after the first dive with it, I ordered another one I had to pay right away. So yes, if you're looking for a nice underwater video light without breaking the bank, the Trustfire DF50 is for you. Thanks for joining me, be sure to like and subscribe for more underwater gear reviews and adventures just like this.